Thế là mô Mô sư thích ca mô ni Phật à, Kính thưa quý thầy, quý sư cô Toàn thể quý bạn đồng tâm à, Hôm nay là giờ này là Ngày thứ bảy 4 tây tháng 11 Ngày 23 à, Chúng ta tiếp tục à, à, thì, uh, Chia sẻ kinh nghiệm Cảm ơn brothers and sisters And uh, practitioners. Uh, so today uh, is uh, the time for our um, discussion. Uh, but before we go into discussion, we can uh, talk about the. Uh, we can discuss about the returning is the way. Return our. Uh, body and mind into the practice as well to the, uh, the original mind. And this practice is basically continue with the heart and, and the, and the heart practice is uh, helpful to release uh, the self attachment and, uh, uh, and uh, ignorance. So, uh, you know, so this is just a reminder uh, in house. Reminder of uh, tomorrow we will change uh, the time. Uh, we're going to push back. Push back one hour. So, um, starting tomorrow, we're going to turn the, the clock back one hour. So, um, the talk today is about drop all the unwholesome acts. And right there, you already find your own realization. And uh, when you drop the soul, this means mean when you uh, let go of your self attachment. And the practice here is not going um, attached to another head of knowledge. So letting go of the sore, letting go of the uh, cell attachment is about uh, practice. And the practice is coming. Start with a um, water question. The water question is creating the doubt. As long as we uh, dedicate the time, diligently practice. And the doubt is going to help us to uh, lead us to the original mind. And, and that's just when you're able to return to uh, become yourself. Uh, so another phrase is when you uh, drop off on the cliff and you're able to recover your cell nature. And the practice here is um, we need to be aware of our um, self attachment, our ego. And there's a saying the, the saying that uh, the Buddha nature in the level as same as the the level of our own conventional So the practice is uh, we go into the opposite direction of our conventional mind. And there's a, a page art saying that a uh, fish can uh, go against the, st uh, the stream to turn into a, or a dragon. So it's just a metaphor. Uh, and there is another saying that uh, by the page art, uh, in order for the uh, cherry blossoms 
to flow in beautifully in the spring. It has to survive the winter, the harsh weather in the world. And in order for the cherry blossom to bloom beautifully, so it's all about the reminders of us practitioners to practice. And uh, in order for us to uh, share each other, um, each other to practice the experience, uh, we need to uh, ask questions if you have any. In the um, Mr. Kim, please go ahead. Yeah, Namo Bong Sư Thích Ca Mâu Ni Phật. Con kính thưa quý thầy, sư cô cùng thầy chúng tôi cho một sự kiện về cái công phu thực hành. And I would like to present my trong cái 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 công thức thì thầy cũng nhắc nhở rằng là mình khi công phu thì mình cần phải đầu thì mình phải hỏi rõ ràng minh bạch. Ask questions clearly. À, phải trung thực với chính mình. Trên cái thực tế, chúng con dụng công á, thì khi mà mới vào khi dụng công á, thì tụi con cũng um, hỏi như những điều mà thầy đã dạy cho chúng con. Khi mà làm làm việc hoặc là làm việc hoặc là Uh, những ứng dụng trong cuộc sống hàng ngày chẳng hạn uh, thì uh, là thường uh, là chậm lại cái tập tục của mình đó nó lại duyên, mm. duyên theo cái tập khí vọng tâm tưởng uh, rồi uh, uh, nó rất là nhanh công phu rất là nhanh ví dụ như khi mà quét rác quét nhà chẳng hạn thì khi mà lúc đầu thì mình sẽ hỏi từ từ nhưng chậm quá mình sẽ duyên theo cái đó cũng sẽ nhanh 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 làm cho công việc nhanh thì tập phu nó cũng quan trọng nhanh nhanh luôn hỏi nhanh luôn dập lại cho cái cái công phu của mình nó mất luôn các câu hỏi mất luôn cái 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 điện hỏi rõ ràng làm cho mình lột cho các điện hoặc là giống như là một cái 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 vọng tưởng luôn And it's going to go to the discussive part. You always remind us that, but somehow we still forget to get in the practice. And we can be in the practice. And we can be in the practice. เอ่อคอนเซิร์นอะไรอย่างเงี้ยลุ้นๆตรงนี้ตรงเนี้ยเนี่ยมีมีแคลคูลเลยนะครับเอ่อวันนี้มีแคลคูลเลยนะครับเ
chút nó chăm chỉ một chút chính cái And we're able to uh, practice it. But if we don't, uh, then it's going to be a great lot of problem. Um, uh, otherwise, we just have a label as a, a practice, but we're not, really, we're not a true participant. Thì trở lại, chứ tổ nói là niệm sinh tử. So the patriarch said that um, or we consider that and uh, they always uh, remind us to put the wood depth on uh, our forehead and impermanent or death is always the way to us. But uh, just return uh, to the practice this matter. Um, the more you able to round the uh, practice, and the uh, less uh, common energy is going to rise. So you want to lose. So it's rather to have a uh, discussive of practice than uh, uh, whether you have doubts or not, you know, it's, it's okay. Uh, but as long as you continue with So uh, just like uh, Ren Master Lake or you said that uh, use the hotel as the uh, the pillow, and in the morning you use the hotel as the uh, water to wash the face. So it doesn't matter how much we stay, uh, the comic images continue to go against uh, because of our cell attachment and influence. And these two self attachment influence, they always hold their position to against him, no matter what. Um, we already allow this coming energy of uh, self attachment and rise in uh, anger form. Uh, madness. Uh, so we already experienced that as well. So it doesn't matter what uh, we have to just continue with the practice. Uh, so we have to be careful that uh, if we have this identity that we know, uh, Zen practitioners, but we don't really practice, we don't truly practice. Mm -hmm. So, uh, that practitioner is not something that, you know, like, uh, uh, really serious, um, that's the name, but uh, we just do know how to ask a question. Like, before heaven and earth, this question is you. You're going to ask yourself sincerely and urgently. So, I'm um, not able to say that uh, they know to ask, but uh, maybe the lack of the uh, sincerity and um, Urgency, very, um, very uh, 
một cái in chân in seriously uh, to ask for the sake of asking but not nhiều hay lấy cái số lượng như là asking as a quantity nghĩ là nó cũng cũng nghĩ là and then thoughts that are doubts the great doubt is coming không phải là cái công phu mà là cái sự cầu là cái sự but actually there's nothing now and fear of the um, affliction and all the suffering and then use the heart to, to suppress it. So that's not a practice. That is just like uh, the metaphor used in the Zen is uh, use the rock to suppress the, uh, the grass. And eventually that your, your practice is going to go into for boredom uh, because we're not following the guideline uh, because we uh, not following and then we going to follow the uh, our cell attachment. And when we uh, encounter all the conditions, uh, we have to worry about it. Uh, in the different weathers, environments, whatever, whatnot, um, you can ask the question. Uh, whether in a noisy place, a uh, very uh, crazy place, um just as, uh, as normal uh, the way to practice uh, for the elders uh, just of the uh, strong capture patterns uh, they still have a lot of uh, habits uh, that, you know get into the practice uh, distract uh, them from, from asking the question. So, so when the elders, they usually, when they're going to practice, they're going to you know, do different things when they practice. Moving things, rearrange things, and uh, we do this uh, in a very repetitive uh, pattern all the time because of the habit you uh, patterns that they have for decades, and this is a strong distraction for the practice. Uh, so all this is uh, because of the, uh, uh, the common energy, and they forget things uh, in the conversation. So this is uh, the process of aging. And uh, for them, for us, every one of us. And uh, when we uh, pass it, we don't even know when we're going to go. Uh, we're born into the, the hell realm, hungry ghost realm. And when we really truly practice, and we don't even know that we have to forgetfulness. We only focus on practice. And if we happen to pass away, then we could uh, possibly reborn into the realm and we can practice right away. So it doesn't matter what situation you're in, we can continue with the practice. Um, and the very uh, precious um, Tradition, when you live in Zendo and uh, live close by the teachers, the Zen teachings, and they're going to help you, they're going to help you with the, the life, uh, practice. And uh, when we in our daily life and we do all the chores, cooking and all that, and if we uh, work in the kitchen or whatnot, uh, you know, if you just continue focused with the practice, um, uh, maybe, you know, when you live by yourself, you don't have anyone to remind you. 
but if you are in the center, uh, there's a wise teacher or the teacher that remind you all the time. And this is, uh, can I help us uh, to return to the practice? But if you by yourself, uh, nobody is going to remind you. And you can so people, if they live in the sand or they, you know, still continue with the practice when they do their choices, uh, sweeping the floor, cooking, whatever, you know, you do the chores, you practice the sand. Um, whatever activities, uh, when, you to, when you go to bed, it uh, doesn't matter what action you do, you ask the question. Remember uh, Zen Master Light when he said that when you wake up, you use the Hoa question to wash your face. And uh, use the Hoa Tho question as a tower to, uh, to dry your face. So eventually you're going to uh, get into this pattern and uh, you can practice diligently and uh, you can get close to the, the wise teacher they're going to help you. So, so when we in the Zen, we're talking about the, you know, people like, we're going to talk about the practice here. So this is a, is a huge benefit uh, for a person who lives in the center, uh, or we practice in the so in uh, any situation, you try to find a way um, to return to the practice, and eventually you get to this. It used to the practice. So that, uh, that, that, does that make sense? Yes, thank you. Ms. Kim Yến, tiếp tục, please. À, dạ, cô uh, kính thưa thầy, kính thưa đại chúng. Uh, à, dạ, thầy, dạ, dạ, cô em. Trình Pháp thì con cũng xin uh, hỏi uh, thưa thầy khai thiện đã cái câu mầm. Uh, can you uh, help us explain this? Khai thiện giống như thầy lại giảng ở trên dâm là. À, dạ, explain this many times before. Tam đồ nghiệp nhân. Uh, dạ, thầy. Uh, cái uh, trong từng sát na suy nghĩ chúng con uh, uh, những cái cái tích cực những cái mà uh, về giữa cái chánh niệm thì uh, thực sự là uh, không nhiều bằng cái um, cái vô minh ngã chấp nhưng mà khi nghe cái cái uh, cái lời của tổ so the, the three karma in our daily life that create a lot of um, một cái niệm thôi mà attachment đồ trước mắt um, it created the, the three worlds in, a, in front of us. So how can uh, we practice uh, that we can uh, release these three karma, uh, karmic actions? Uh, the, this word means attachment. And anything that attached uh, Including attaching to the, uh, the wrong viewer and to lead us to the hell realm. So, as long as you are in the daily life, if you, you, you just, uh, practice and not pay attention to it, and, and the work can you fall into. Um, 
lầm lỗi một ngày với công phu giữ ba năm lầm một là một một so there's a saying that uh, we uh, keep ourselves really in the very uh, right Right, just, right, right. Um, you, you discipline yourself really good for a long time, but, but it could fall into one minute of wrong uh, action. So, um, so just like a merchant, they, if they have to keep the, uh, their work done, the, the honesty so that how they can do the business if they, if they treat uh, if they uh, mislead other people or partners uh, they can lose their business so it's something with our comic and, uh, action um, sometimes we keep our uh, discipline uh, really good but sometimes because of the comic energy leaders fall into the, the wrong action and that's when you're gonna fall into the uh, uh, lower realm uh, dark world and and again uh, we just need to remember practice. doesn't matter what condition um, so this can help us to uh, get us to the, the practice otherwise we're going to fall uh, with the comic energy so uh, there is a saying that all the merits someone you know creates for the whole life, and then in one minute of uh, of the uh, anger, it wipes out all the merits in the whole life. So in order for us not uh, to let that uh, comic energy to lead us into that path. Then uh, we need to hold on to the fight and eventually let go of the self So this is uh, the right uh, mindfulness that's a uh, six-page art mentioned in his teaching in the platform sutra. So the thought that um, leads us to the uh, uh, awakening, uh, that's the right mindfulness. If the thought that leads us to view another knowledge, uh, then that, that is the right mindfulness, true mindfulness. So, um, so we are practicing here is uh, basically uh, we're going to go far away from the three uh, worldly karma that you mentioned. Uh, so we should consider the practice. Um, and even though you know our practice maybe doesn't have any, um, make any sense, uh, you're not able to taste anything in the practice, feel anything in the practice, that's okay. You just continue on until you're able to taste the, the Zen that the patriarch you know, all did. So that's going to lead us out for once as well. And the patriarch, you know, also remind, <clears throat> reminds us that uh, to be careful and uh, not attached, not attached to the, um, the wrong, uh, not attached to the duality. Uh, so that, that is uh, the true Buddha Dao. Uh, my own Là mình phải luôn nhớ về công phu như mẹ nhớ. I don't always remember the things of practice like mom is the child. Always tăng lên cái cái niềm tin của mình, tin vào công phu như là. Always want to 
reunion with uh, John, wherever she goes. Uh, we, we also, we also uh, the, um, the birth and death um, process. So uh, all the same that we, uh, we have to go to the practice stage, uh, we can actually uh, understand it's not going to be enough. So can you say more about this? Thank you. And when we're talking about a bird and death, uh, there's a story. And, and when we're able to thoroughly understand the of a bird and that, um, and eventually, if you're able to solve this uh, bird and that, uh, you're going to see that the word uh, bird and that is just like just an alphabet letters. It's, it's nothing. So uh, this is uh, come from our own practice. So this is a story uh, based on the intention of the patriarchs want to tell us. Uh, there's a, a king. Uh, this king loved the worldly knowledge. Uh, and he has the power and money and everything. When he conquer any uh, countries, uh, nations he took over. He got all the jewel, jewelry he collects from the war. And, and uh, later on, you know, he was the king, uh, and uh, he has the power to able to uh, protect other small nations from tyrants. And, and uh, this king, you know, he has uh, a love for uh, knowledge. He always, he always wanted to get, gain more knowledge. So he uh, collect all the worldly teaching books, uh, put in the vulture. Uh, and he asked uh, his own scholars in his uh, royal uh, deputies you know, to explain or read uh, for him. So uh, he's uh, again over 50 years old. And he cannot somehow, you know, uh, he wants to read all those books that he collects and only uh, try to get the commentaries from. Uh, and uh, from 10 um, uh, his assistant basically tried to uh, um, collect all the main teachings uh, for him. So from the 10 story, um, from 10 uh, storage that uh, contain the books, and they try to gather uh, to make it uh, smaller and make it condensed teaching for him to read. But, but uh, eventually he's going to get older and only uh, until they get uh, condensed to about the size of uh, a carriage. All the teaching uh, combined into one carriage. Uh, and then they condense again all those, book, those books on a carriage to one book. And then he said, no, I cannot read it. You need to condense again. So all his assistants um, tried to condense them again, condense all the teaching, and say that I cannot read all this. You need to condense them. So they, they try to, um, uh, by the time they condense 
into only one page. And at this time, he already on his deathbed. So uh, he's not gonna uh, make it over, you know, over this night. And how can he's gonna learn this on one page? So now they want to condense only one line. So uh, his assistant um, tried to the best you know, uh, to say all the teaching has come down to only two words, uh, birth and death. So he was so happy. Say, wow, this is wonderful. This great teaching. And probably he realized something during his deathbed. And after he realized it. And from this story, we we're able to understand the, 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 the intention of the Buddha. Uh, the Buddha's intention is to want us to somehow realize this birth and death. So this is uh, the story uh, to help us um, um, to realize ourselves. Um, so the teachings of realizing uh, the uh, impermanence, birth and death. So when you listen to this kind of story, it's just like another story. It's normal. It doesn't make any uh, make any uh, strong emotion, you know, or feeling for our practice or motivation for our practice. Uh, the reason is we may have a lot of our self attachment ourselves. So. So when um, we have a strong practice, we're able to listen to you. When, when, when this story told, you're able to uh, in sync with it. You're able to resonate with the, uh, the teaching of birth and death. So at the end, uh, you know, all the same, it's, it's not just, you know, uh, for us to listen to and feel good about it, but we have to somehow dedicate a practice in an urgent way. Um, so that way we're able to uh, truly match with the words of the, the Buddha and the patriarchs. Through this story, you know, we're able to feel more trust in ourselves and um, build a strong momentum for your practice. It's just like uh, the uh, weavers, um, they, they uh, put all the thread together to make the piece of cloth. Um, so we have to, we have to weave. Uh, so cover, you know, no, um, holes between. Uh, so there's no way, you know, thoughts can go through. So that's uh, come from, let's say a lot about you know, someone uh, in your practice and based on the true practice. Uh, it's not based on the theories. So when we're talking about this is based on experience of the practice. So it doesn't matter, you know, like how we say it uh, beautifully, uh, eloquently, but it's, it's only the, the fake cake, you know, you're not able to eat it. It's only a picture. Um, so just like the, the Buddha said, that's um, the, the shadow of the image. It's, it's not you, it's not true self, it's, it's not a true moon. So the fake moon cannot uh, bright, uh, cannot radiate the, the, the light. And the fake um, uh, cake, you know, you're not, 
Uh, obviously, you know that you cannot eat the fake cake. So it's, it's basically, you know, based on the true practice. Um, the practice of the teaching should be uh, hand in hand, which is like a, a map and uh, the, um, the traveler. Uh, they have to have this hand in hand uh, in, until you know reach the destination. Uh, so, so therefore, um, you should consider you know, the words of the Buddha and the patriarchs very important for us as a guideline for our practice. Thank you. Yes, our questions uh, in the chat. Uh, there's a question about uh, can you explain this or this uh, so this is basically um, the teaching from the Diamond Sutra uh, the, 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 the knowledge attached to the um, the knowledge through forms uh seeing through the seeing knowledge uh the sound knowledge or self consciousness eye consciousness self consciousness uh to uh seek for the buddha nature if one uh uses uh, consciousness to seek the Buddha, then you're not going to be able to practice the truth um, the, the right way. So this is uh, basically um, when we're talking about uh, the faculties, uh, the eye consciousness, the nose consciousness, the ear consciousness, the taste consciousness. Um, so those six consciousness in front of us, um, we use daily. Um, is be, uh, it has to interact with uh, subject and object. So, um, so especially the first uh, part of the uh, verse, uh, when we use the eyes, uh, consciousness to see things, we see objects, uh, we can see uh, things. But when uh, when we talk about uh, someone who's blind, do you think they can see? Yes, they can see. You can see the darkness, even though they don't see the object, but they can see the, the darkness. So they, um, this is eye consciousness. So the eyes is the, the eye consciousness, the object. The eye faculty see the object uh, create uh, the eye consciousness. So this uh, is manifest through subject and object. So um, when we're talking about energy of seeing, um, there's no way you can point out. But it's, uh, it's, it's always there. So because of our uh, this six consciousness always uh, use the duality to interact with the outside world or within in our, in ourselves, um, we uh, use uh, the um, the dualistic the, the distinguished mind um, to uh, to figure it out. Um, so the sound, the scene, um, the touch, um, it comes from the, the known. So the known is come from the subject and object. So when we're talking about the, the, the Buddha, means the Buddha uh, is none, none of the uh, duality uh, abiding. So when the Buddha say that, there is none, none, none abiding uh, for the eye consciousness, the nose consciousness, the ear consciousness, the taste consciousness, the body um, the mind consciousness. So when you're able to read those no, uh, consciousness, uh, then you're able to return to the Buddha nature. You can see the katakata. But if you use the the, the, the worldly consciousness to seek for the Buddha, then you're not going to see the, the talk. 
So this is teaching from the Diamond Sutra. So the complete enlightenment, you cannot see, you cannot point, you cannot, uh, you only see it when you, uh, you're awake. So without practice, without awakening, you're not going to be able to see the complete enlightenment. So Lao Tzu said that the path so even the, the Lao Tzu teaching is in the conventional uh, conventional um, uh, he said that the path uh, or the way when I speak, you can see the path. But how how that how can that be when you say it and then you can see it? So this is the, the teaching from Lao Tzu. So when you describe it's... So basically, uh, even the Lao Tzu teaching is also come from the, the discussive mind um, uh, through uh, thoughts. So when someone, you know, try to describe something and go to the other person and ask it, you know, to verify that person is uh, description and sometimes you know it's not even you know the same because uh, it's a so this is uh, even in the conventional world we not able to verify you know, the, uh, the words the description um, so only coming from the true uh, awakening uh, go beyond the uh, duality uh, so in the conventional world they also tried this but you know um, still not able to go to the absolute. So, because uh, we human beings, we attach to the, the sound, the, uh, the forms, uh, the feelings. So, uh, when people they want to attach to the sound, like when they in this spiritual path, they, they, they would love to listen to the, the Zen music. Thun, 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 and they're gonna feel oh good i'm feeling good so that's they, they they feel oh they're practicing so that is um so the uh the skip means of the buddha he take us from the, the uh, conventional uh knowledge or conventional understanding uh, all the way to the ultimate uh, teaching or understanding. So in the pure land teaching, it's come from the same foundation, come from the um, conventional understanding, conventional teaching to the to the absolute uh, understanding. So the, the absolute teaching of the pure land is the Buddha nature of uh, Amitabha. So Amitabha is the, our Buddha nature. So when say uh, volume, wang, so this is the uh, infinite light. Infinite light is um, the, this is a, the, the nature of our, our Buddha nature, the light of our Buddha nature. So when you eventually going to see the, the, the Amitabha Buddha, and uh, he's going to teach us how to practice meditation. So when you um, when you listen to the sound of the tree, uh, yeah, the sound of the tree or the, the stream, um, and then you're gonna be able to awaken. But the uh, the teaching or the practice of the pure light is not as simple as you think. So because of based on you know uh, each practice you know they have their their own comic uh, um, uh, they 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 can go to different sect different tradition. So they uh, attach to the conventional teaching and they're gonna get, get stuck there. So so the teaching of the Buddha is come from the very foundation. 
um, teaching. Um, this is foundation teaching come from the skillful means, and then and then he's gonna take you all the way to the absolute. So the Mahayana teaching is uh, help us to get the um, slowly um, go to the ultimate. So right now, if we practice swap so meditation, you are already on this uh, path to uh, go all the way to the ultimate. And uh, this is the true process practice and true uh, great doubt that is going to lead us to uh, the water. So this does this make sense? Yes, Tay. Thank you, Tay. Dạ, kính thưa thầy, nếu không có ai hỏi, con xin hỏi thêm một câu nữa. Để xin thầy giảng lại chỗ mà. Uh, people, not, no one else asks a question. No one else asks a question. Can you explain? Mình tham thiền á, nó bao gồm cả giới. Oh, he uh, asking about the uh, precepts. So uh, when you practice this, uh, you are also uh, practice precepts. Um, you practice the uh, concentration. You also practice the, the wisdom. So this is the practice from the what uh, from the way non master and the uh, bodhidharma master. So in the uh, chapter that um, uh, concentration and wisdom, uh, when uh, so this uh, student sends you, he said that um, if, why do we have to practice um, the uh, concentration to get the wisdom? So um, the patriarch say that when you have this, uh, to have this in order to have that, uh, that's a still on a duality. So basically the practice uh, is to wipe out the um, the dualistic mind. So whatever condition you are in, um, you have to uh, practice the heart of it. Like you, you know, when you ask the question, you're already in the concentration. Uh, you're not able to raise any um, discussive thoughts. Uh, when people praise you, hmm, you don't even know. And when people criticize you, well, I don't really know. So that's already concentration. So when you um, have the thought, thought of um, wisdom, uh, the thought of uh, wisdom is when you attach to um, attach to the group, uh, I mean, to reality, and that is the, the wrong wisdom. But when you got no attachment in it, then that is true wisdom. Uh, so, so the 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 chi is I mean wisdom. Uh, when the chi arises, that's wisdom. And we already in the process uh, to self release uh, the the chi uh, attachment to the self. Um, so the, um, the uh, concentration and wisdom, they are equally the same. Uh, and also same thing with the precepts. Um, so Zen Master likewise, he said that when we practice this, we even practice, you know, like everything in the, in the, um, the Arahant practice. So uh, when you when we in this practice, we, we're not going to just uh, uh, connection flight, right? 
Uh, when you uh, when you when you fly connection, uh, then you have to stop, you know, certain uh, location. But this is go direct, right? Uh, this conquer. So this is um, why the Sikh patriarchs say that. Um, the concentration already arise at the same time. So if you don't practice meditation, if you don't have to practice this, then you need to have to practice uh, precepts. And when people they say, oh, I am not a practitioner, I don't practice precepts anymore. And um, that, that is a, is, is a really, uh, that's, that's so wrong. Um, so um, you, you just need to practice. Um, so if you don't practice, then, um, then you need to have peace that protect you. But if you already practice this, it's already protect itself. Vậy là mình lúc mà mình công phu đó thì mình nói mình nói là hành giới định tệ thì cũng nghĩa là đang từng bước nếu mà mình có giữ đề cao thời thời đầu mà có nghi tình là đang từng bước chuyển cái thức thành trí đúng không thầy? Thì theo duy thức học á là đang đang công phu đang tu á đang hành và chính cái trong cái uh, so he said that you know um, when we practice this um, it's gonna transform the uh, worldly consciousness, the worldly knowledge to the uh, to the uh, wisdom. So this is uh, from the mind only uh, thoughts. So when you practice, um, so the the sixth and the seventh consciousness, uh, they're going to transform me from uh, practice. This is the, the, our practice is based on the you know, transform the sixth and seventh, six and seven consciousness. So as long as you keep able to um, keep the, the great doubt, then you're able to um, uh, get rid of the, uh, the six consciousness. And the six consciousness is not going to follow the order of the seven consciousness. And, and the six consciousness is going to follow the order. When you're able to practice this, um, the, the six consciousness um, also let go. And it's going to let go of the eighth consciousness as well. So that's when transform um, all the consciousness. So the six consciousness are able to transform, uh, transform the seven and the eight. So that's based on the uh, um, conditions of the practice. So the all the five consciousness, <clears throat> um, they're gonna transform as well. They um, they're gonna transform into um, not worldly uh, consciousness anymore, but they're able to use as is. So the five consciousness we we use to use them as the worldly uh, uh, knowledge. But uh, they, they can transform into the, um, the, the almost like the wisdom, into the wisdom. So in this practice, uh, also in the uh, platform sutra. So, uh, so the fifth consciousness, uh, the fifth consciousness is able to get transformed from the sixth con consciousness. So that's uh, able to let go of the duality, subject and object. So uh, based on his teaching, we're able to trust in this process. Therefore, we need to dedicate our practice 
use all the effort. Doesn't matter if you forget a lot, um, you just need to practice. And always practice. Uh, doesn't matter what. And slowly you get able to uh, uh, achieve your practice. Thank you. Now we run out. Thank you, everyone.